Hello guys, we are going to discuss about deadlock in DBMS. Let uh, let me see about introduction to deadlock in DBMS. Deadlock in DBMS database management. When occurs two or more transactions are blocked indefinitely, waiting for each other to release a resource. The situation can cause a serious performance issue and disturb normal database system. Definition of deadlock. Deadlock is a situation where two or more transactions are blocked, each waiting for other to release a resource. This can occur when transaction hold locks on resource and they need to access locks held by other transactions. Condition for deadlock. Deadlock can only occur when all four of the following conditions are met. These conditions are often referred to as the confirm condition each condition represent a crucial element of deadlock formation mutual exclusion hold and wait no preemption circular wait let us see about mutual exclusion resources are exclusive only one transaction can hold a resource at a time hold and wait transaction can hold a resource while waiting for others no preemption transaction cannot possibly take resources from others circular wait a circular chain of transaction waiting for resources held by each other now uh, vadalal will discuss about deadlock detection algorithm i'm going to deadlock algorithm deadlock algorithm are used to identify if deadlock has occurred within the system they analyze the status of transaction resources to determine if any circular wait condition exists there are two types wait for graph resource allocation graph first of all we will see about wait for graph a graphical representation of transaction and the dependence nodes the present transaction and it indicates waiting relationship now we will see about resource allocation graph the graph representing the allocation of resources to transaction nodes the present transaction and resources and it just indicate allocation of request relationship then we will see about deadlock prevention techniques prevent the de- deadlocks aim to eliminate one or more deadlock conditions to avoid deadlocks all together these techniques ensure that deadlock cannot occur by restricting certain action or behavior first method is resource ordering second single resource allocation third time out deadlock avoidance strategies deadlock avoidance strategies are proactive approach that aim to prevent deadlock by analyzing the potential for deadlock in advance and denying transaction to resource that could let deadlock resource allocation dynamic analysis to ensure no circular wait condition safe state no deadlock potential transaction can proceed unsafe state potential for deadlock transaction may block to avoid deadlock deadlock recovery mechanism it will be explained by vistan ji deadlock recovery mechanisms deadlock recovery mechanisms are employed when deadlock occurs to resolve the situation and restore the database to a consistent state these mechanisms involve taking actions to the break deadlock and continue processing first one roll back transactions involved in deadlock are rolled back to a previous consistent state releasing acquired resources second step restart transactions are restarted after a roll back allowing them to retry the air operations with potential modifications to resource request third step preemption resources are forcefully taken away from the transactions to resolve deadlock potentially requiring compensation for lost work deadlock handling in distributed dbms 
managing deadlock in distributed systems is significantly more challenging than in centralized systems detecting and resolving deadlock in distributed systems involve coordination and communication between different nodes in the network in distributed detention each node needs to track its local resources and transactions communication is required to detect that deadlock involving transactions on multiple nodes global rollback rolling back transactions that are involved in deadlock requires communications to ensure consistency across all nodes involved resource locking global resource locking schemes such as two phase locking can be used to prevent deadlock across multiple nodes conclusion and best practices deadlock is a complex issue that can be uh, have serious consequences for database performance and reliability understanding deadlock its causes and the various techniques for prevention avoidance and recovery is crucial for ensuring efficient and stable database operations first step avoid excessive locking keep locks as short lived as possible to reduce the chance of deadlock second step use deadlock prevention techniques employ appropriate techniques like resource ordering and timeout mechanisms third step monitor and analyze deadlock monitor the system for deadlock occurrences identify patterns and adjust the cat strategies accordingly thank you